I'm Sally and I'm the creator behind the Urban Acres. Welcome to my workspace in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I design and sell punch needle kits. Punch needle is actually an old art form, but it's seeing a modern resurgence. So my job is to make punch needle kits that make it as easy as possible for anyone to learn this super awesome craft. Today on Craft Therapy, I'm gonna give you a punch needle lesson and show you how to make your very own punch needle patches. These are super fun. It's a great first project and the awesome thing about patches is they can go anywhere and everywhere. So let's grab the supplies and get started. For this project you'll need a denim jacket or whatever you want to put your patches on. You'll need monk's cloth which can be purchased online. An embroidery hoop that will hold your fabric really tight. A punch needle, I'm using the Oxford number 13. Scissors, a Sharpie, spray check, which can be purchased online or at your local fabric store. Yarn, I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton. And Badge Magic, I used two sheets and I found this on Amazon. The first thing we're going to do to make our patch is stretch our monk's cloth. So this is a special fabric made specifically for punch needle and it's awesome because the weave is loose enough to allow the punch needle to travel through it but tight enough to keep the stitches in place. So make sure you've got an embroidery hoop or a gripper frame, something that is going to hold that cloth really nice and tight. The next step is tracing the pattern. So I like to tape my pattern to a window and then I'm gonna place my hoop over it. And now you can see that just makes it really easy to see the pattern I'm tracing. Now that we've got the pattern traced, it's time to punch. And um, this is why I choose an Oxford needle because it's so easy to thread. So all you do is thread it through the eye hook, down through that shaft, and then out through the eye of the needle. Super simple. And I'm going to use for my patch, I'm using two different sizes of Oxford. The only difference is that this one is just slightly longer than this needle. So by punching with both of them, it's a really fun way to create texture. So I'm gonna start with my innermost uh, part of the design first, which is gonna be this stem. So all you do is stick your needle all the way down into the fabric and you wanna keep the open part of your needle or the slot facing the direction you're going and you punch down, pick it up, drag it across, maybe two holes of the monk's cloth, push down, pick it up, drag it across, and that is it. The great thing about punch needle is if you mess up, all you have to do, take those stitches out, scratch the fabric, and keep punching. Now my patch is punched and this is the back side and this is going to be the side that I display. So, so you can see some of the loops are a little out of place. So what you can do is just take your punch needle and push the loops back where they're supposed to be and it just helps everything look a little more neat and crisp. Then to get this ready to attach to the jacket, I'm going to apply this product, Fray Check. So monk's cloth, as you can see, if it's left untreated, is going to unravel. This stops that. So I'm gonna apply it to the back side. And I'm doing a pretty generous amount and I'm also extending it probably about a quarter of an inch from the edge of my stitches, and I might even put a little bit on that uh, nearest row. The fray check around all of my patches is dry, and you can tell because the monk's cloth is hard in those spots. 
So I am going to take scissors and very carefully cut around my patch. I'm not going to go all the way to the yarn, but I am going to get close. So I want to stay in that area where I applied the fray check so that my monk's cloth doesn't unravel. Now that the shapes are cut, I am going to use this badge magic to cut a sticker that will fit on the back of the shape and that's how it will stick to the jacket. So the easiest way to do this is to hold this up to the pattern that you traced your patch with. But if you don't have that, if you freestyled it, you can just trace an outline, a general outline around your patch. Now I have a sticker for every patch that I have and I'm going to attach these to the back of my patches. So there are two sides to this patch sticker. You want to make sure that the first side you peel off is the side with the printed wording. So it just peels off and then place and stick. And the good thing about this is if your patch does go over or the sticker goes over the patched area, since it's paper, you can always just trim so it fits. And the final step is placing the patches. So take your time with this. Make sure you've got them where you want them to go. And then when you're ready to place, all you have to do is peel off that final layer of badge magic. And then, it's very sticky. Press into place. Well, that concludes this craft therapy session. I hope your punchinal patches turned out awesome. But if you need help or if you've got questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. And follow all of my punchinal adventures on Instagram at The Urban Acres. See you next time.